Internal, external, check that out on yourself actively, and then hip flexion, and then do your quadruped rocks. So if any of you have a pinch, let's call it out so that when you guys do your drills, I wanna know, we wanna know, did it help? And Carlos, as you're like doing this, feel like, huh, do I feel resistance this way? And then if I bring it out a little bit, is it like, like Joel? Probably if I go out to the side, okay. So now it's like, I wonder what their squat looks like. But here's the beauty of like the rib cage pelvis. You can ask all these questions, but let's just knock out the first block and organize that cage and pelvis and see if it cleans up. So for the measure, it's like 45 maybe, or 40. And then this way we want 40. Cause what happens if you don't have the internal rotation, you jam into the hip socket. So which direction is that way? Uh, this would be external. Yes, sir. Can I see your quadruped rock now? No, no pinch, Nate. Can you bring this up? You just got what I needed from the serratus muscle. Literally, like if I were to do it with my hands, that's spinal elongation right there. I can see it. Yeah. Rock forward. Tell me what this feels like when I kind of maintain you. Tuck the pelvis a little bit. There. Uh, I do it first without coaching. Like just rock your butt back to your heels. And this is where the scoop, you're trying to get them reconnected to like the lateral line. So it's like you're trying to do that right there. Thank goodness we started to understand that breath work can just hit all of it. Reset, reorganize it, reload it. Is it better? If not, okay, let me dive more focal. Does that sound good to you? 